Today, we have put together a selection of air vehicles for you that could, in the near future, become the present. Among the novelties and prototypes that not only fly, but are already being prepared for mass production. Are you ready? Let's get started. Sigma-6 Quickly changing the functional purpose of a drone from cargo to passenger? Nothing could be easier. Introducing the Sigma-6 Vertical Takeoff Electric Airplane. This innovative glider from ASX has interchangeable modules, cargo and passenger. For quick capsule replacement, the drone is equipped with a functional skateboard robot. When the Sigma-6 lands, the capsules detach from the glider and roll on a small autonomous electric skateboard chassis with full drive. The same skateboard robots can lift and move the entire plane if necessary. And this is not just a project. The company has already tested this ground logistics system and was quite satisfied with the result. Another feature of the Sigma-6 is the ability to quickly replace the batteries, which are built into the same capsules. If the battery in the drone runs out, simply replace the capsule and keep flying. One battery is enough for 150 miles of flight. VBAT after numerous trials on land and at sea, the U.S. Army has chosen the new VBAT Vertical Takeoff Landing UAV. The drone takes off and lands using its tail. Thanks to the innovative design of the supporting element, it does go smoothly and gently. The drone flies horizontally. For ground-based air defense systems, it is a difficult target because, unlike takeoff and landing, its flight dynamics are sufficiently aggressive. The drone is capable of taking off and landing on stationary and moving platforms less than 4x4 four four meters in any conditions. It is also equipped with a ducted fan that accelerates the device up to 86 miles per hour and provides a flight altitude of up to 15,000 feet. The UAV can remain airborne for up to 8 hours with fuel reserves for an additional hour. Thanks to interchangeable modules, the VBAT can be used for surveillance, reconnaissance, and air support of combat groups. Volar Have you ordered an air taxi? This could be a relevant question in the next decade. And it's not science fiction. Recently, Bellwether Industries built and tested one of the most futuristic prototypes of an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft called Volar. Test flights of the two-seat flying car prototype took place in Dubai. The vehicle made several unmanned flights at an altitude of 13 feet and a speed of 25 miles per hour. Those who saw the machine in person say they felt like they had traveled to the future. It looks so futuristic. Developers claim that the vehicle will fly at a speed of 135 miles per hour at an altitude of up to 3,000 feet and have a payload of over 1,300 pounds. It is expected that the number of seats will increase to four in the future. One battery charge will be enough for 90 minutes of flight, and the flying car should be on sale within the next five years. A tilt rotor aircraft is an aircraft capable of vertical takeoff and landing like a helicopter, while horizontal flight is performed in airplane mode. Such aircraft have been used in the U.S. military for quite some time now. Now, a revolution is brewing in commercial aviation as well. The world's first commercial aircraft of this type is the AW609, which recently made its first flight. The AW609 features a composite fuselage and wings, an advanced glass cockpit, and a full set of modern avionics with digital controls. The aircraft is propelled by 26-foot diameter three-bladed propellers. The AW609's payload capacity is 8.37 tons. The tilt rotor aircraft is designed to carry 9 to 12 passengers at a speed of up to 317 miles per hour for up to 860 miles. Portsmouth Cherbourg Ferry covers its route through the English Channel in two hours. But what if we told you that you could comfortably cover this distance in just 20 minutes? 
Introducing the innovative high-speed electric hydrofoil sea gliders. The machine was developed, tested, and already put into production by the American company Regent. This new electric aircraft takes off and lands on water just like a hydroplane, but flies at a speed of 180 miles per hour over the surface of the water. The main feature of the Sea Gliders project is the use of the ground effect. This means flying at a low altitude above the sea to increase lift from the air cushion between the wings and the water. The new vehicles will be able to service routes up to 180 miles at a speed of 180 miles per hour. And after the development of new batteries, the range will expand to 497 miles. A Drone Courier What's innovative about it, you might ask? Although there are already dozens of such projects, we're confident that the electric UAV Cyclotech which has already been tested by its developers, will definitely surprise you. The main feature of this novelty is the engines, which have a cylindrical shape and resemble more the wheels of a car than the motors of a drone. The conceptual drone is equipped with four cylinders. They have the advantage of changing the angle of inclination of the blades during movement, thus adjusting the thrust in a full 360-degree circle. Up, down, forward, backward. Whereas all other systems can only push or pull in one direction. Thanks to such engines, Cyclotech has excellent maneuverability and is easier to control in crosswind conditions. Rotor technology could revolutionize and enable the development of next generation aircraft. Integrator VTOL is a conventional fixed-wing unmanned aerial vehicle UAV. Such aircraft cannot take off and land vertically, for example, on the decks of military ships. Hood Tech has solved this problem by developing a special Flares VTOL platform for launching Integrator VTOL. The platform was specifically designed for launching from ship decks, but it can also work in any conditions. To lift the aircraft, the UAV of the aircraft type is attached to the platform, which raises it to the required height, after which the aircraft is released. For the landing of Integrator VTOL, the Flares platform pulls a vertical cable catcher between the deck and itself. After completing its mission, the UAV returns, hooks its wing on the cable, and glides down it to the deck. Many of you are surely fans of Formula One car racing, but what if such races were not held on the ground but in the air? The company Alada Aeronautics has also given this some thought and developed the first piloted racing aircraft, the Airspeeder Mark IV. The novelty is an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. As the developers claim, in the future, it will be able to reach a speed of 223 miles per hour in just 30 seconds. In addition to speed, the main feature of the Airspeeder Mark IV is the presence of a hydrogen turbo generator, which serves to power the batteries and engines. The design of the Airspeeder Mark IV is inspired by Formula One cars, with a monocoque made of carbon fiber, sporty air intakes, front and rear wings. The predicted range of the aircraft is more than 186 miles, and its takeoff weight is 2,094 pounds. It is planned that we will be able to witness the first championship of airborne Formula One as soon as the year 2024. Humanity is constantly improving technologically, and to stay up to date with the latest inventions, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, don't forget to like it. See you next time.